The inside scoop on this week's political headlines. And here today are Roger Putnam of Putnam Roby Williamson Communications and Brian Schimming of Midwest Strategy, also vice chair of the state Republican Party. Kind of a surprise out of the assembly today. The budget passed much earlier than anticipated. Roger, what do you think of the Democrat strategy? I don't even know that it was a strategy. I think it was its wisdom, really. In this case, they, they had 200 plus amendments and they knew that they would just be a bunch of hot air. They wouldn't get any votes. And so, you know, the, the, the problem, unfortunately, is that this budget is all rhetoric and and, and, uh, and really not good for the middle class. It's poor for the middle class on, on health care, education, on tax cuts. I mean, there's nothing there for the middle class. I find it interesting. If it's poor for the middle class, then we ought to pass more of these budgets. A billion dollars in tax cuts, 250,000 extra people uh, covered under health care. We've gotten rid of the $3.6 billion budget deficit uh, that the Democrats left. Look, this is a great budget for Governor Walker. Stresses jobs, school choice. This is one they can take on the road. The Democrats know it. No, this is, yeah, they can take it on the road. And it's going to be helpful for the Democrats when they take on Walker in a few years. Uh, you know, when we talk about uh, refusing 2.5 almost billion dollars in, for health care, it's costing more taxpayers. It's going to get fewer people uh, covering health care. We're going to, you know, private uh, move money around for uh, vouchers. This is not good. What do you expect for tomorrow in the Senate? I, it'll pass, you know, some kind of budget will pass in the next 24 hours. I think something very close to what the assembly did. The governor will have it on his desk. He'll sign it in the next 10 days. I, I'm looking forward to it, actually. I, I like this contrast for this budget. Yeah, it's going to sail tomorrow. Let's talk Madison politics. Madison Mayor Paul Soglin announced he will seek another term. Not really a surprise. He's been mayor for a number of decades, right? Um, so what do you guys think about his announcement, and is there a possible challenge from former Mayor Dave Cheslevich out there? Um, you know, it's a smart move by Soglin to get, a, get his name out there. He's got the high-powered Melissa Mulliken uh, back on his team. He's got his first fundraiser scheduled for the end of the month. Uh, if if Cheslevich is going to be considering it, he's got to be looking pretty hard about, about Soglin running hard, fast, early. Well, it'll be interesting. Uh, Paul is kind of Paul, my way or the highway, Soglin. And so the question is, does the city want to keep going with that? Look, the race four years ago was, a, was Paul versus an incumbent, a different kind of race. Now it'll be someone else, maybe Dave Cheslevich, may, maybe somebody new against Paul Soglin, a different kind of race. And I hope there is one. Do you know who that person might be? You have any I names do. in there? But you don't want to share. Well, there's some names right. out there. Uh, you know, Kaleem Kerr is one of them, yeah. uh, head of the Urban League, I yeah. believe, right. and you know, right. pushing the Madison Prep School. He's It's an interesting candidate. Yeah. We've got about 30 seconds. Any insight into these new CNN polling numbers on uh, President Obama showing that he's dropping in key demos? You know, I find it interesting. I don't know if Republicans got the memo, but he's not running, okay? He's, he's done. So 61% of the independents have an unfavorable view of the president. So the president may not be running, but if the Democrats think they have a chance of taking back Congress when 61 percent of independent, not Republican, of independent voters don't like their ticket. The only not person good. with worse ratings than Obama is Boehner in Congress at 10 percent. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much. We'll be back right after.